Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about an amazing text automation tool called TextBlaze. TextBlaze helps you create shortcuts for different pieces of text that you might use repetitively. These text templates are called snippets and three areas that I personally use TextBlaze is for repetitive prompts while I'm developing a product, promoting my brand on LinkedIn and on Twitter or X. Now I'm going to create different videos going deep on how to use text place on each of those scenarios. But in this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to use this effectively. To get started, go to this link, which I have linked on my description and download the extension. After you have the extension downloaded, it's going to show up on the right here as text place snippets, where you can access all the snippets that you create. And after you create an account and log in, this is the dashboard you're going to see. Now, there are a lot of features available for you to use, but I'm not going to overwhelm you with everything and show you how to get started right away. Pricing wise, the basic tier is free and lets you create 20 snippets to play around with. But I personally have the business version of this, which lets me create up to 4,000 snippets. Now that might seem a lot, but think about it. If you use this product to automate all your prompts, say you have some prompts for AI art, you have some prompts for ChatGPT, and I'm also planning to have folders for my email outreach snippets and my Twitter account and LinkedIn account. If you do want to sign up for a higher tier, I do have a link attached to my first comment and my description. All right, let's get started. So what exactly is a snippet? For example, we have this snippet called demo plain text with a shortcut of slash test. Now, what exactly does that mean? The demo plain text is just the label. You can call this anything based on your own naming convention. And when you have a lot of snippets, I recommend actually having a naming convention, YouTube video test. So my category here is YouTube video and the name of the snippet is test and the shortcut I have is slash test. Now what happens when you type this shortcut? All that happens is this text in the bottom gets generated automatically. And if you click this try it out button right here, you can see this live. So I'm going to type slash test. And right there, you saw this word testing AI gets generated that was right here. Now if I change this text, Hi, this is the owner of testing AI. And I'm going to try this out again and slash test. And as you see, the text of the snippet just changes right away. Now, if you don't want to try this out every time, you can just click on this button on the right called preview and you see how the result of that snippet looks like when you type that shortcut. Now, let me try this out live on YouTube video comment sections. For example, maybe you are a podcast host and you want to comment on different YouTubers videos to see if they are willing to do a podcast with you and say, hi, I am the owner of, let's call it Futurism podcast. Your videos are incredible. Would you be willing to do an interview with me. And now you can just go on the comment section and just use that shortcut, which is slash podcast. And just like that, that text gets populated right here. It says, hi, I'm the owner of the Futurism podcast. Your videos are incredible. Would you be willing to do an interview with me? And then you can just add a comment right there. And all right, now let me do a more real world scenario that I personally would do for my business. And for that, I'm going to actually organize my snippets into folders. For that, you click this button right here, which says create a snippet folder. And now I'm going to call my snippet folder outreach. And here what I'm going to do is to create three different snippets for email outreach messages, which I'm going to send to potential clients. Now for my business, I provide three kinds of services. I provide an automation service where I do website or email automation. I provide an AI tool service where I work with businesses to create an AI tool. And lastly, I provide prompt engineering services where I work with businesses to clean up their prompts and make it more efficient for their own team. Now for that, I'm going to create three different snippets. The first one I'm going to call automation 
and have the shortcut set as automation as well. The next one would be AI tool. And I'm going to call the shortcut just AI. And the third one would be prompt engineering and call this prompt. And now I'm going to copy paste these three templates of emails. Now, usually this is not what I sent directly. I edit this around, but this is the template that I use first before I clean it up and make it specific to the business. For the first one, I'm going to copy it right here where I say, hi, first name. I came across your company. As someone who has worked in this field, I wanted to reach out and introduce you to TAI automation. And the next email right here is for the AI tool service. And I'm going to copy that right here. And here it says, I wanted to reach out and introduce you to our AI tools as a service. And the last one here is for prompt engineering. Copy that right here. Now, what I would do here is make this section bold so I can focus on the service I'm providing in this email. And I'm just going to make it bold right here. One cool thing about these snippets is all the formatting that you do inside this text transfers over when you type this shortcut, which is really cool. All right, these snippets are actually now ready to go. I'm going to show you a little more formatting in a minute, but let's try these out first. And now that you have your snippets ready to go, you can just start typing the shortcut. For example, let me start with the third one, which is prompt. And just like that, the whole email outreach templates gets copied right away. Now I'm going to remove this and try out the other two, say AI. And this one is for AI tools as a service. And the last one is automation, which is TAI automation. Now this functionality itself will help me out quite a bit, but you can make this even more flexible. For example, here, instead of typing out first name, you can have your snippet require you to type the first name when you're doing outreach so you don't forget it and send someone high first name. So all you do is highlight this section and come to the right which says text field and click on that. And here you can say first and click insert. And what this does is require you to type out the first name when you use the snippet. Now, after you have the text field created, you can auto populate this anywhere else right here. For example, if you want to end this email with their name, all you do is to type curly braces equal to first. And just like that, anything you type here would also get populated right here. Now let's see this in action. So I'm going to go back right here and type automation. And as you see, now it requires me to type the first name of my outreach. So I'm going to type Jim. And as you see, it says, hi, Jim, now, and it ends the email with, thank you, Jim, for your time and consideration. Now, there is an issue with the spacing here, which I can fix here, or I might as well fix this right here on this template and add a space right there. And that's enough. And let me try this again and type automation, Jim, and click insert. And just like that, my official email is ready to go. Now, if you look on the right, there is a lot of different kinds of functionalities, such as date time, clipboard, cursor, paragraph field, a drop down menu, toggle field, which is when you may or may not want to show a specific piece of text. You can select a date. Now, if you want me to create future videos on how to organize your prompts for ChatGPT or your LinkedIn or Twitter messages, then add a comment. I'm going to show you how to use the other functionalities in those videos. Now that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you understand the power of automation and how TextPlace can really help you and your business out on making your workflows lightning fast. I hope you try out TextPlace. And like I mentioned, I do have a personal link which is attached to my description and the first comment. I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, click like and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.